an international contingent of filmmakers showcase a diverse range of films, a multitude of students rock the house at the Student Showcase of Films, and independent films take center stage. Hello, I'm Michelle Hillary and welcome to the 2008 Palm Beach International Film Festival Review. Every April, you'll find motion picture industry professionals gathering in one of the hottest spots on the planet for the annual Palm Beach International Film Festival. Named as one of the top 10 destination film festivals in the world with films from places like Canada, China, England and Germany, Israel, Japan and Morocco, the festival gives film lovers a chance to mingle with the industry's elite while seeing some of the best films that independent cinema has to offer. This festival looked to the quality of cinema and the quality of filmmaker and bring them together. We've met a lot of directors and filmmakers from other countries that we, we wouldn't have known, of course. It was a great occasion for us to show uh, our talent, our new generation of directors. We have a complete delegation from Morocco here and so many other countries from China, Australia. The international flavor is really taking place this year. The magic here. And it's, just, it's in Palm Beach. And how do you go wrong, right? Opening night kicked off with a royal flush as Hollywood royalty graced the silver screen in Zach Penn's The Grand. A high-stakes comedy about the world of professional poker, this film stars Woody Harrelson, Cheryl Hines, and Ray Romano. My name is Jack Farrow, and I am a professional poker player. Now, I do some other stuff, but poker, that's the thing I do best. My grandpa was also a poker player. He built a casino called the Rabbit's Foot, and now I own it. But this story isn't about me. It's not about me and my grandpa. If it was, it would be called me and my grandpa, and it's not called that. That's a stupid name. It's the story of six people playing in a poker tournament. Six people who think they've got the game figured out. The way I see it, poker's like some kind of cosmic metaphor. Now, don't fade out on me here. It's like even though the cards fall in a random order that you can't possibly predict, you can still beat them. That's not true for a lot of other things. In or out, in or out. Is there a time limit on this? Come on. The twist is that the six of us, we're playing for $10 million, winner takes all. So no matter how much all of us believe that we can make our own fate, the truth is that only one of us is going to win. Luck and skill be damned. That's why this story is called Luck and Skill Be Damned. Sorry, wait a second, it's not called that. It, it, it's called The Grand. Walking the red carpet was the star of the film, Cheryl Hines. I love it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's huge. I didn't realize it was so big and glamorous down here. It's really nice. I mean, I'm from Florida, so it's nice to be back in Florida. The excitement of the screening was followed by a glamorous party under the stars sponsored by General Growth Properties on the roof of Meisner Park. The stylish crowd dined on mini hors d'oeuvres and sipped couture cocktails. The Palm Beach International Film Festival is considered an important partner for tourism business in the county and for the expansion of the film and television industry through quality education programs. The festival encourages and supports the next generation of filmmakers through programs devoted to the professional development of Florida-based filmmakers. Students in Palm Beach County have utilized equipment donated to them by the festival with the assistance of local film legends such as Burt Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds continuously takes time from his busy schedule to work with his master acting class students at the Burt Reynolds Institute for Film and Theater. And that's why our goal through this festival is to give our students the programs and assistance they need to develop themselves and become filmmakers that are recognized far beyond the borders of our county. 
Every year, students from around the state enter film projects into the highly acclaimed Palm Beach International Film Festival's Student Showcase of Films. Known as the largest competition for Florida student filmmakers, the showcase shattered all records this year, receiving close to 200 entries. A crowd of more than 700 talented up-and-comers gathered to celebrate Florida's finest in student filmmaking during the 13th Annual Student Showcase Awards Gala. Competition finalists walked the red carpet and got a taste of the Shutterbug Hustle as they entered Palm Beach Community College's Duncan Theater, where the winners of the awards were finally announced. The flavor of the show sparked a wave of excitement through the crowd as a giant iPod and silhouetted dancers brought life to the stage. Comedians and hosts Frank LeCarey, Travis Thomas, and Jesse Furman of Jupiter's The Jove Improv were honored to introduce notable award presenters including Vincent Ciceri and Louis Lombardi. Speaking of free, wow. uh, all night any award winner will be receiving a Frank LeCarey headshot and a Jove comedy flyer for our it's next true. show. It's true. And so we would like you to know that our talent and our resumes and headshots are also available for free. <laughs> for any up and coming filmmaker that's um, going to go on to do big things, my references are available upon request. I'm actually one of them. So he, uh, he's. <laughs> Really, really good, you guys. To, have, to see the, the, the belief in their eyes, how wonderful their dreams, their hopes and dreams, and non-tainted, out of Hollywood, you know, it's wonderful, real raw talent, excellent, excellent. These, these kids, this is unbelievable. These are the future filmmakers of tomorrow, and you really have to be proud of these kids, all of them. Everybody's won everything. Um, I congratulate all of you who are winners today, but all of you out there are winners. You are all part of, of a great, journey that's called education. This is a year of growth and I would say we have arrived and it's growing. Please keep writing about Florida. We need your screenplays here. You know I go to a lot of festivals and it's great to get a nice little award you know and a nice little trophy but you get cash. Isn't that cool? The host also starred in an entertaining opening film that set the stage for what was about to come. Oh no. Tell me not to believe my lion eyes. Someone's my spacing during advancement time. You know what we say around here? My spacing is not progressing. I know, I understand, Mr. Hyman, and Facebooking is regressioning. But what if I was meant for something bigger? You know? What if I was meant for something better? What do they got that I haven't got? What do they do that we can't do too? What do they know that we don't know? What's so special about them? I got ideas. I think I'm funny. I want to show them to the world and make some money. Yeah. I'll get a camera and a computer. And maybe one day I'll no longer be a loser. Yeah. Could take some pictures of myself and load them up. Yeah. Or maybe feel myself just being in a cup. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I've got nothing to say. Yeah. I can become a famous person anyway. Just get our friends yeah. together and we'll act like fools. And let that camera run, you know there are no rules It doesn't matter if you're talentless today You'll get yourself a million hits a day Yeah, 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 I want my face on my space My stuff on YouTube too Go and Google my name, you got nothing to lose Just request my friendship and Facebook will comply And don't forget, funny or die before the show came to a close, more than $30,000 in cash prizes were handed over to deserving students. Top student filmmakers were recognized in several film categories, including a screenwriting competition, a poster contest, two Burt Reynolds Scholarship Awards, and new this year, an audience award and viral video contest. 15 years ago, I was in high school here, and it's great to come back and win an award in, this, in my hometown. 
but it's even greater to see the uh, programs that are going on around here at the high schools now. I can't believe, um, you know, we didn't have that stuff back then. And